Globally, there's a lot of concern about the direction of politics, not just in, in Britain because of Brexit, about the rise of nationalism on the continent, and there's probably no more polarising an individual at the moment than Donald Trump. Your policy as Prime Minister was always to have a close personal relationship with American presidents. If you were Prime Minister now, what sort of relationship would you <laughs> cultivate with Mr Trump? Yeah, a close one, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I, people always want me to criticise Theresa May over this, but I think it's, it's the British Prime Minister should, should always get on well with the President of the United States if it's possible. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's got its challenges, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it's important. And because, you know, in the end, there are many, many things we're going to be working on together in different parts of the world and attitudes to things like North Korea, Iran, you know, and so on. All of these things will be positions that... It's important for Britain to be close to America. And the American system, as anyone knows, is not simply the president as well. You've got the cabinet and you've got the, the members of Congress. So, no, I think it's if, if I was still in government today, it would be important to establish a working relationship. But that's been difficult because with Bill Clinton, you were ideological stable mates in one regard. With George W. Bush, you had, a, you had a good personal relationship, you had an understanding. With Donald Trump, personally, it would be quite difficult for you as a, as a guy to get on with him, wouldn't it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, but the fact is, you know, when, you, when you're at that senior level in politics, it's really part of your duty to your country to get on with other leaders. And, you know, one of the things that's fascinating about politics is that people always think, you know, the politics of your local community centre, you know, that must be so, so different from the politics of the G8. And when you get to the G8, <laughs> if you do, you realise it's exactly the same. Both got a buffet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more, more or less. Meat raffle and a tombot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the G8. 